loves, my name is CM Ward and I am excited to welcome you to Errol Ford Ministries. From the babes of Christ to the mighty prayer warriors, we have a powerful message here for you today. Are you thinking about the horrible things you've done in your past and you feel like God could just never forgive you? Look, the truth is we are all sinners and we have all done things in our past and we are not perfect. So let's sit back and listen as Errol teaches us how we can work with God as an alliance with God in our present to build a better future. Bless the Lord, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, every chain of bondage. From generation to generation, there is power in the name of Jesus. Today I want to read from the book of Judges, chapter 16, verse 15 to verse 17. And the word of God declared. Then she said to him, this is Delilah and Samson, obviously. How can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me these three times and have not told me where your great strength lies. And it came to pass when she pestered him daily with her words and pressed him so that his soul was vexed of death, vexed to death, sorry, that he told her all his heart and said to her, Razor has ever come upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If I am shaven, then my strength will leave me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. Heavenly most gracious Father, give clear interpretation and clarity to your word relevant to this 21st century, so that eyes of humanity, dear God, will be open, and that your name will be glorified, and humanity will be delivered. This I declare and decree in that other name, but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's name, amen. Here, we have a situation with Samson, and Samson, was foretold and forewarned by God not to mess or get involved with the Philistine women. Samson disobeyed God and he paid the ultimate price. He fell in love with a Philistine woman called Delilah and it was more than just falling in love with Delilah. His enemies, the lords of the Philistines or those in governmental authorities want to know about Samson, how we can disarm him from his legitimate power that was given to him by God. And Delilah was told, we will give you 11 pieces of silver each should you find out his secret to his strength. Lord have mercy. This is so relevant today in the 21st century because two things happened. Samson buried his head into Delilah's lap. That is a symbol of death. For any man who buried his head into flesh the fleshly nature disarmed by a woman symbolically to lift your head in the lap of a woman where you find your comfort, 
Though you were foretold and forewarned by God not to mess with Philistine women, but you found comfort in placing your head in the lap of Delilah. And in the midst of that comfort zone, you spell your inner being. You spell what God has given to you. There are fallen men and women today in the body of Christ who have found themselves in a comfort zone where they spill their heart and they spill the power of secrecy that God had blessed them with, that God has given the integrity of, and they have spilled it to the devil. And there's a price to pay when you spill your being, when you spill your inner core, when you give it to the devil, there is a price to pay. There is a problem that you're going to incur during that period of time. And in the result of that, Samson got blinded twice. After he had given his secret of his strength to Delilah about shaving here, she called all the, the king, the, 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 the lords, servants and they come forth and they shave his head he loses strength it was like any other man and they picked up him and took him to prison now I want you to get this carefully he lose his eyesight physically and he lose his spiritual connection with God my brothers and sisters, don't be in a position today in this 21st century to lose your spiritual connection with God. And the result of that, he went to prison. But I, I, love, I love how God created us, you know. Because what happened is that what folks didn't recognize that when you shave your head ball, it don't stay bald for too long before your natural hair start to grow back. That's why there's so much barber shots because as soon as your hair springs back, you go and get it cut again. So as Samson's hair evolves and grow from his shaven head, his strength came back. And he became mighty again. But the connection of his natural vision was gone. His eyes were plucked out. This reminds me of some Christians today. They, they, they seem real and practical. They sound knowledgeable, but the vision is gone. The connection of God is gone. Your character grew back from whence you've fallen, but there is something missing. And because Samson knew that his connection with God was missing, on his delivery out of prison, he cried out to God, let me feel these poles. And he told the person who was leading out, put my hand on these poles. And he pushed these poles down and Upside down came the temple. Everything fall, resulting in thousands of deaths. But he said, Lord, let me die with them. But I want to thank God today for Jesus Christ. You see, it's, it's a different frame here altogether. Because with Jesus Christ, the word of God declared that a just man falls seven times, but yet he rises again. And the reality, because God, because Jesus Christ is so forgiven and he's ready to forgive us from whence we have fallen, you are in a position and in, and in authority today to stand up to every flight that the devil brings before you and declare the unadulterated word of God with pinpoint accuracy and see the victory of God in your life. 
every demon, every trap that the devil set for you, every every blindfold image that the devil bring before you to destroy you, every black out eye that you were you were blindsided to, and you miss what God has been calling you to do for all those years in your life. This is a time where you can be fully restored in the name of Jesus Christ and declare his glory in earth as it is in heaven. There are those who think that they do ever so much wrong things in their life. There are those who think they are so bad that they can't make it into heaven that God don't want to hear from them simply because they live a very bad and corrupt life. I got news for you today for the word of God declare he has not come to save the righteous but call sinners to repentance and if you be just enough to repent unto God, my God is more just enough to forgive you for all your sins and resurrect in you a new purpose and a new destiny. Destiny. You got a covenant ship with God. It doesn't matter whether you are in prison. It doesn't matter what bondage you are in. You got the spirit and the soul and the tenacity to call for Jesus Christ wherever you are. He will hear you and come to your rescue. Everywhere Jesus Christ is there. In the church, Christ is there. In the workplace, Christ is there. In the schools, Christ is there. In the plantations, Christ is there. In the communities, Christ is there. All you have to do is call upon the name of Jesus Christ every single moment of your life and he is there. It doesn't matter what traps you have fell for. It doesn't matter how disobedient you were in the past. It doesn't matter what name you were called. It doesn't matter how you were neglected. It doesn't matter how you was forsaken. It doesn't matter where you was in your life. What matters now is that Jesus Christ is saying, I am calling you. But if you shall hear when really I knock on your door and you open to me, I will come in and sup with you and you sup with me. This is the season where we can call this blessing. There are turmoils going on all through our lives. We are faced with ups and downs. We are traumatized. Political atmosphere, you are traumatized. The work atmosphere, you are traumatized. You in college, you are getting bullied. You are every place and there seems to be problem. It seems to be no rest on earth. But God is saying in this time and season, ye that labor and heavy laden, come on to me and I shall give you peace. I will give you rest. This is your time and season for Seth the Lord. That if you can only focus upon me, if you can only just put off the mortal, and put on the immortality. If you can only gird your lines up with the word of God and write the word of God upon the table of your heart and wear it around your neck. For God is saying, if you can only present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable before me, God is saying, I will raise up in you a mighty man. I will raise up in you a mighty woman for this time and season that you will declare the word of God all four corners of of this world with authority, power, and dominion. God is saying, I want to put myself in you. God is saying, I want to outpour my spirit into you. God is saying, I want to pour a double portion of anointing on you. But God is saying, first, I want you to position yourself to get me inside of you. This is the hour, thus says the Lord, that your past you can put behind you. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. Weeping may enjoy in the may weeping may be in the night, but joy come in the morning. God is saying this could be your new day to rise up from your trauma, rise up from your past. Rebuke the generational curse that be hanging over your head. Rebuke the generational spirits that was around you that of evil authorities. God is saying, I want you to get rid of the past. 
but put on the full armor of God. God is saying in this time, I want my people to be ready for my return. God is saying we are in the end times. God to forget about what the false prophets had said years ago about the time when God was coming. When they caught days and date when Christ was coming. God said they were false prophets. For the word of God declared, no one knows the hour in which I will come. I will come like a thief in the night. No one knows, not even the angels at his right hand, know when God will be coming. For these false prophets had painted a bad picture of Christ. These false prophets had made God look bad. And these false prophets had painted a bad Bad image for Christianity and everyone want to brand Christianity as one but I come to let you know today that Jesus Christ is the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end and who was and who is to come Jesus Christ is still on his throne reigning and do and reigning as king and authority over all powers of the earth God is still God no one can damage God's word. The heavens and the earth will pass away, but his word abideth forever. It doesn't matter how Satan paint a bad image of God. It doesn't matter the false kingdoms that were set up. Christ prophesied for this time and season, many will rise in my name and deceive many in multitudes. Even the angel, even the 144,000 elect, if they were on earth, they themselves would have been deceived. And this lavishing false picture, governing the heads of humanity, just like Samson, the heads are buried in the flesh. When your heads are buried in the flesh, you are subject to disaster. You are walking in a disastrous zone. You are walking in the fast lane of death. When your head are buried in the flesh, you are walking a death, a death life. You are a walking dead. We, as sons and daughters of God, I call for a specific reason. We made mistakes in our lives. We do bad things in our lives. Look at Paul. When Paul was Saul, he was corrupt. A vicious man. A deadly man to Christians. God changed him. God change him. Stop branding yourself in a bracket that you are so bad that God don't want to use you. Wake up from that domain of sleeping. Wake up from that domain of lies. Come to a point in your life where you got to say, enough is enough, thus says the Lord, for I am a child of God and I will not allow my life to go towards the enemy. I will not allow my life to fall anymore in sin, but I'm going to resurrect from this time forth and I know that my God will preserve my going in and my coming out from this time forth now and forevermore. We must understand that whenever you give your life to God, there is a new beginning. Behold, the old man would have passed away and you become a new creation in the body of Christ. Samson had a short life, young and strong, but fell for the flesh. That is many young men today. The lust of the world, destroy their hearts, destroy their mental faculties. They see just a flesh. Fleshly minded is death. We can't hold to the flesh. It will change and fail within changing years. We got to depend on Christ. 
This is the hour for Seth the Lord. That you should turn away from your sinful ways of life and focus upon Jesus Christ and let him direct your path. The word of God declare, lean not to your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Samson, it's a shame when you disobeyed God, you will die. Samson disobeyed God. First, his eyes were plucked out. Faced with darkness. Then he was put in prison. Locked up. Then, in the final moments, rather than make a mockery of, he said, Lord, let me die with them. There are so many today who are ashamed of themselves that they would prefer to ask God to let them die than to live. But you have an opportunity in this moment to cry out to Christ, repent, awake, and walk in the path of righteousness. For this is your hour of visitation for Seth the Lord. God is saying, my sons and daughters, rise up from whence you sleep and put on the full gospel armor of God. Wrestle against principalities and powers in high places, but do it in the nurture of God. God is saying that if you can only forsake the things of the world and fix your eyes upon me. My God is saying in this time I will rise you up a mighty man and a mighty woman to deliver the word of God with accuracy and dominion in this time and earth to deal with all demonic activities to deal with all demonic curses to break generational sins to bind generational diseases to, to loose the captivities the captives from out of sin God is saying I've called you to do great things in earth that I did when he was on earth that he did when he was on earth God is calling you in this time and season to take up the mantle of power and authority that's what God is saying to his sons and daughters rise up young generation walk not after the flesh the fleshly nature is subject to death. The fornicators is subject to death. The adulterers is subject to death. The lesbians is subject to death. The gays are subject to death. The transvestites are subject to death. But if you can only turn your eyes upon Jesus Christ, my God is saying my blood will wipe your sins out totally. My God is saying I will rise you up a new creation in the body of Christ and you shall represent my kingdom as one of my sons and daughters. My God saying he will wipe your past away. My God is saying I will wipe every disease and every demonic, demonic feeling and every demonic symptom that the devil had transformed your body chemistry too. My God said, I will make you straight. My word said, my God is saying that his word will make the crooked straight and he will anoint you and he will appoint you to rise in this time and season that you will declare the word of God with pinpoint accuracy that his will will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Brothers and sisters, turn away from sin and declare the word of God. The eternal almighty God, I give you honor and I give you glory. I thank you for your word. Lord, this is time I pray dear God that the recipients of this message will bury their sinful nature and rise to the occasion to establish your word in this earth. Lord, let a new beginning be the format of their lives. Give them the encouragement the anointing and the tenacity 
to stand up despite of the trials and testing times to declare your word. This I declare and decree in none other name but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen.